in order to produce force, muscles must contract, something we'd all do all day when we're breathing, moving, or doing any movement whatsoever. But to maintain basic postural support, however, muscles must be lengthened between the bony structures that they attach to, and they have to be the correct length. So that even as they act on the bones, they are also being lengthened between the bones in a very subtle and dynamic arrangement. Again, even this extremely simple child's toy is actually very complex in the actual distribution of forces interplaying here. But this is how muscles and bones work together to produce support against gravity. Now, of course, some variation of this relationship exists in every part of the musculoskeletal system. And quite frequently, people will be uh, like stretching muscle groups, going to see a chiropractor, going to get a deep tissue massage, uh, whatever, uh, due to some form of these imbalances. However, they're not realizing that all they're doing is putting like a one or two, three day band-aid on the issue. And in some cases, they're actually making it a lot worse. Now, in regards to having a healthy, highly functioning body, those kinds of things won't work. You must make sure that the length of your muscle tendons and the spacing between your bones is ideal permanently, which obviously takes time and consistent effort and mindfulness. This makes your overall body structure significantly more efficient and allows for greater ease of movement as well as improved health and performance in all areas. Now, the problems of the human body typically will be addressed and evaluated by somebody who is looking for overused areas of the body. The problem is they typically find the over overused areas of the body first and very easily, and that is all they're told to look for and correct. It's very easy to spot a location, a muscle group, a tendon, a node, something which is overused because they're tight, they hurt, and they create imbalances which are very noticeable and very visible. However, what is lacking, it is just as important to understand that the underused muscle groups or over-lengthened muscle groups and tendons will typically avoid this detection, even though they are nine times out of 10, the root cause of your problem. Wearing a particular style of shoe which elevate the heel above your toes will cause an imbalance in your walking gait, resulting in a shortening of your muscles and tendons over time, which will of course create a cascade of effects, a chain reaction that travels up your pelvis and spine, even affecting your neck muscles. And guess what? It's going to be very painful and it's going to be a lifelong problem until you correct it. Having a big fat wallet and sitting at an angle all day is going to do horrible things to